We're writing components, we're writing tests for those components. We have a visual test runner. We've used Node.js to do debugging. Sometimes you need to run in the browser and do debugging in the browser. We'll do so in this step. First, make sure that your NPM start script is running because we're going to be connecting to the Webpack dev server. I'm going to make a new run configuration based on JavaScript debug. I'll call it app and I want it to have the Webpack dev servers URL. I'll go ahead and set this to Chrome just to make sure that it's okay. Uh, and I'm going to run, it's going to open up, it's going to connect and it's going to say everything's great. So I'm going to close that and I want to now run it under the debugger. I'm going to set a breakpoint here. And when I execute this under the debugger, instead of just the regular run, uh, this time it's going to open JavaScript debug. It's going to bring up the browser. And if I hit reload, I see that I've stopped execution at this line in the debugger, even though it's actually executing inside Chrome. I can do the same kinds of things that I did previously looking at values, opening the evaluate expression, and then pumping all of that through the JavaScript engine over in the browser.